My name's Eric Wielander and welcome to my channel where we get the most out of our apps and gear in the Apple ecosystem. Today we're going to look at the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock. So I've been using this dock in my setup for a while and I recently rearranged my office here and it allowed me to take advantage of this dock in a totally new way. Uh, this is not a video that's a comprehensive review of the Thunderbolt 3 dock from OWC of all the different peripherals that will or won't work with this device. Um, I'll link below in the description some other YouTube videos that are a lot better for that. What I hope to do in this video though is show you my setup, what I've been able to do with this dock, uh, and hopefully give you some ideas whether you've purchased this dock already, you are looking at the potential of a Thunderbolt 3 dock, or you're even just looking at the potential of a MacBook Pro with Thunderbolt 3, just to give you some ideas of how powerful and capable Thunderbolt 3 is and how well it could work in your setup. So a few quick technical specs. Thunderbolt 3 works at up to 40 gigabits per second, which is insanely fast. And this dock supports that fully. So you can run two 4K monitors or one 5K monitor off of a connection to this dock along with the other peripherals. And that's really nice. Personally though, I run a Apple Thunderbolt display off of my dock. Uh, one thing to note though, if you see what looks like a Thunderbolt 2 port on the back of this, that's a mini display port. So it won't be compatible with Thunderbolt 2 peripherals that are not compatible also with mini display ports. So keep that in mind as you're looking at things. I use this Thunderbolt 2 monitor with Apple's Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter and then plug it into the Thunderbolt 3 port on my OWC dock. So this dock will charge your MacBook Pro at 60 watts. Uh, if you buy a 15 inch MacBook Pro from Apple, the power adapter in the box charges your computer at 85 watts. Uh, so that is something to note that it won't charge your computer for a 15 inch size computer as fast as the power adapter you get in the box from Apple. However, uh, personally, I just dock my laptop overnight usually, so I see no issues in the fact that it'll charge it a little bit slower. Um, I also have pushed this machine pretty hard attached to the dock and I haven't seen any issues where it um, you know would drop the battery below 100% meaning that it was having to go to the battery power and use the battery power while it was connected to the dock because the dock wasn't giving it enough juice. So don't worry about the power situation. I think even if you have a 15 inch MacBook Pro like mine with the uh, discrete GPU, uh, you should have no problems powering it. Speaking of power though, if you wanna be using this to uh, plug in and charge an iPad, uh, especially the earlier generations of iPad as well as Apple Super Drive, which is their old disk drive uh, that you can hook up to your computer. Um, those, the, uh, OWC has a special driver that then allows you to send proper power to those over USB. So link down below, you can go ahead and download that um, from their website. So personally, I use the OWC dock as one cable that connects to my MacBook Pro, and then that wires into the rest of my system. So there's only one cable to plug in and remove um, when taking my laptop with me. And I've used command strips or command hooks uh, to mount the dock to the bottom of this IKEA desk. Uh, this is actually not a desk, this is a dining table of some, like a high elevated dining table from IKEA. And so I just attach the dock along with a surge protector uh, and a time machine drive to the bottom of the desk and used hooks and cable ties to elevate all of the cables connecting that so you don't really see it underneath the desk. It's all kind of hidden. So what do I have connected to my Thunderbolt 3 dock? Well, for storage, I have my LaCie USB-C rugged drive. Um, that's a two terabyte, I believe. Um, and that connects at full speed for USB 3 uh, and then through the dock to the Thunderbolt port. I also have my Wacom Intuos Pro pen tablet available along with um, the, of course, Thunderbolt display going into Thunderbolt 3 as I mentioned. Um, 
I also have, as I mentioned previously, a time machine drive that's secured at the bottom of the desk. It's just a basic uh, Western Digital external hard drive and then that's plugged in via USB. Another USB accessory I have is the Audio Engine D1 DAC uh, and I use that really just because it, it makes audio sound a little nicer. I'm not a huge audiophile. I'm not someone who like has to have a DAC or use it, but I got one a long time ago and it's worked well for me. It still works great. And most of all, I like it now is just a convenience of putting a headphone port at a nice place right at the leg of my desk so that I can easily plug in my wired headphones um, with no issue. And so that way my wired headphones are always plugged in right there at the desk, uh, hanging there ready to go whenever I want to listen to audio with headphones. I also have my Rode Podcaster mic attached. Uh, this is a mic I've also had for a while um, and it works great for, I used to use it for recording a podcast and I am thinking of using it more with YouTube stuff and maybe other things. So it's nice to just have that hooked up and all ready to go when I dock my laptop. I also really like that this dock has an SD card reader. That's super nice for importing photo and video from cameras. And the read and write speeds on the SD card reader are just as fast as any other uh, top of the line uh, reader, so no slowdowns or issues there because it's going through the hub. I haven't needed to use the headphone port on there because I use the DAC externally. Um, I also haven't needed to use the Firewire 800, and I also haven't needed to use the optical audio out. So overall, I really enjoyed using OWC's Thunderbolt 3 dock. It's worked great for me. A lot of cheaper USB hubs or other, they they won't be super reliable. Every time you plug it in, certain devices won't connect and then you'll have to unplug that device and re-plug it back into the USB hub or whatever kind of hub or dock and you won't really get the reliable benefit of just you can plug in one cable and then it splits into a bunch of others. Um, this kind of a dock with Thunderbolt uh, doesn't seem to have any of those issues, at least for me. Um, one thing though that is kind of flaky for me that I want to note is the Ethernet jack. I haven't been able to get the Ethernet jack to work reliably with my Mac. Um, that said, I haven't really needed it, so I have pretty good Wi-Fi around the house, so um, it's not been a huge deal that I've had to thoroughly investigate. So um, just realize though that the Ethernet jack, depending on your configuration, might not work right out of the box for you. I think one of the biggest downsides of this ODB dock is it's just not very nice to look at. They've put a lot of just uh, all of their branding and different labels and um, this white paint all around the dock and so uh, that's part of what may motivated me to put it underneath the desk. It used to be below my desk and then uh, putting it underneath just made it even more hidden. The other big downside of the OWC dock is that it comes with a very short Thunderbolt cable so I had to purchase a separate longer Thunderbolt cable in order to make this whole setup where it's under the desk work. Uh, and just like the Thunderbolt dock, those cables come with lots of OWC logos plastered all over everything. Um, you know, which would be nice if it was just solid black, very clean and minimal. Well, the setup of mounting everything under the desk was a little bit time consuming. I totally recommend doing something similar. It was well worth the time. Aesthetically, it really improved my desk and just the office feel in general. So yeah, well, cable ties and hooks and all of that work can be tedious. Doing that can really pay off. And having that paired with a dock where your computer then connects to this whole system with one cable, uh, I think is also a really big benefit and um, ups the management and aesthetics of the desk even further. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried something with a Thunderbolt dock for a setup or if you're considering it, have any questions. I'd love to hear about that. Talk about that down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos about apps and gear in the Apple ecosystem. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.